Hey there everybody, welcome back to Airbrushers Games and Art. How you doing today? Doing well. I'm bringing this video to you because uh, I was watching a couple threads uh, on the RSI forums and uh, they were in the uh, Arena Commander sub threads and what I was seeing was um, people and they were using the, the Mustang Delta as their main main example and so here I have my Mustang Delta and I brought it out and I specifically this was I did this after reading that and I did this I recorded this after reading the couple threads and I was looking at it trying to figure out what they were talking about and so there's a couple things I, I don't know enough about to explain and I don't know enough about how they work in Star Citizen and Arena Commander, so it may, I know that they are important, and if I gloss over it, uh, feel free in the comments below to fill that blank in, so to speak. Give me the citation that I need. <laughs> um, and what I'm talking about is the changes in the uh, maneuvering process. And a lot of people are saying that the, the ships um, don't roll as well as they used to. You can't spin it on the nose. So there's, there's a roll, yaw, and pitch. And yaw is moving your nose left to right. Pitch is moving your nose up and down. And roll is rolling your rolling side to side. And what people are talking about is the yaw, the nose going side to side. So when they have to do a, a very strong maneuver, like I did right here, of uh, spinning their nose around and going in another direction, they're talking about how slow their ship is responding. And so I set my ship up in, uh, well, actually my controllers, and then I fly my ship. So I've set my controllers up beforehand. I go into the options and I bring up where I get to the curves and I adjust the curves. And uh, you go, the, the line, the curve has a, a center line and it goes diagonally left to right in an upward motion. So bottom left corner, upper right corner. And everything that's on the upper left hand side is considered above the line and everything on the lower right hand side is considered below the line. And here's where one of my citations needed. Uh, please, someone fill this in a little bit for me. Um, when you go above the line, you have a certain effect on your controllers. And when you go below the line, you have a certain effect on your controllers again. And one of them, control, they, and you're con setting up the amount of, of uh, response from your ship when you use your controller, uh, be it mouse, gamepad, stick. I use a, a stick. I use a Logitech Extreme 3, 3D. And uh, I happen to enjoy it very much. I would like to go up to a more modern stick later down the line here. And, uh, and you saw my front look there. I have a unique setup that I haven't tried before on the the uh, Mustang, I'll get to that in a second one, or Delta. So, when you're going above the line and below the line, you're adjusting how, you, how your ship reacts to your inputs. And what I'm saying is, play with those. You want to try going above and below. And play a little bit, see if you're getting the response you need. And, or if you're over responding, you can move a little, you move your stick a little too much and you're like, you know, your nose is flipping all the way over. And also, um, each time you're doing your test, make sure you're hitting uh, your boost during the turns because that'll affect for that moment that the boost is engaged, the turn. So, because it's adding force and, and uh, velocity to your turn. So if you have a curve set up to, for a certain amount and you're used to flying that amount and you boost through a turn, your ship is going to react differently. So 
just be you know tested for that and for your play style so if you're I don't like boosting through a turn I try to avoid it I tend to boost after the turn is done to uh, zip off in the next direction to catch up if I get behind like right here um, I start I hit the boost right there and wham I dropped my nose down because I was getting fired at and you can see I literally did a pirouette where I was with my nose if you will pointing straight down at the at the planet and I just kind of spun um, on my nose out of the way so I I find the ships to be much more maneuverable now than they ever were before I find them much more responsive I know a lot of you guys are having troubles with that and I just encourage you to go into the uh, control options and hit the curves and start playing with how your ship reacts and you can when you adjust the curves you're adding power in certain areas and you're reducing power in others or you're maintaining the same you know default power so on and so forth and that's and so I have a my curve looks like an S as it goes from the lower left to the upper right is an S I go below the line first as I go up and then I go above the line as I go to the top and I find that it gives me plenty of response to my ship and uh, I actually do need to add a bit more to my yaw which is my nose turning side to side because it is going to kind of a full thrust state for lack of a better word uh, too slowly so I want it. I want maximum maneuvering thruster right from the start. That way, I can just whip around, hit the the main engine boost, and shoot off in this direction. And this is where you adjust that is in your levels. So if I get a viewer who's either a subscriber or someone who's passing by, and you can explain clearly and succinctly in the comments below, like specifically above the above the lines for the curves and below it please feel free and you have my blessings to put that explanation into the chat because it'll only help all of us because the people that seem to be having the hardest time with their ships now need that information need that help the most i have I may not know the actual definition of what I'm using, which is kind of stupid, and you're actually going to be helping me. But I understand that by affecting the curves, I'm affecting the reaction of my ship to my controls. So you can, like I said, make it respond harder, make it respond more as you apply more of that control. So if you're starting to roll to the left you start your roll you move your stick a little bit and you're rolling and as you move that stick to the left more and more until you get to where it's you know it's hitting its stopper the energy that the thruster is outputting can increase as you're applying because you're uh, in effect telling the ship you need more 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 roll more twist and so you can set that kind of thing up in the curves and it's pretty brilliant so I just wanted to bring this to you and let you know that and I hope I helped you and I hope you're having fun. Give us a good try. Please hit the like and share so we can get the word out and uh, get it to, in someone's hands that can write that explanation better than I can about the curves. And uh, it was fun having you here folks. I hope to have you back and I hope to keep you entertained. Until next time my friends.